welcome to my little bookish corner of the internet, my name is Harriet. Today I'm going to be doing my spoiler free review of The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. And I'm currently filming this on the hottest day of the year in the UK so far, so I'm sorry if I look really hot and bothered. It is boiling, there's no escaping the heat in this house, so I'm just going to try and do my best. Okay, so The Hobbit. It's a classic, most people probably know the story, but if you don't, we are following a hobbit who is kind of like a breed of humans that are a lot shorter than us and they have really big feet and they're very humble and they like their own space they don't really go on many adventures and things like that and basically we are following one of these hobbits and his name is Bilbo Baggins and he gets sent on an adventure by a wizard named Gandalf to basically help a group of dwarves take back their mountain and the mountain has been taken over by a dragon so it's all very magical and whimsical it's high fantasy which is one of my favourite genres, so I was really excited to read this. But yeah, that's a very brief overview of the story. Compared to The Lord of the Rings, which is in the same kind of franchise, and it's set in the same place, which is Middle Earth as well, this is definitely more of a children's novel. So I would say that it's a bit more appropriate for younger readers as well, whereas The Lord of the Rings trilogy, those three books, I found that they were a lot more adult. But obviously I read this as an adult, so this will be my review of it. So the first thing that I definitely want to talk about is just how expansive the world is and how incredibly well Gerald Tolkien writes his settings and how he's come up with this place where all of these different creatures and races of people live. So you've got elves, dwarves, you've got hobbits, you've got orcs, obviously you've got wizards as well and there's so much lore and magic around Middle Earth. Now you don't get to hear a lot about these different races and where they come from, things like that, in this novel, you do have to read separate books. So whether that is in the introduction to the Lord of the Rings trilogy, or if you read like the Silmarillion and things like that. But you don't necessarily need to read that. It's still really interesting and entertaining and you can still appreciate how many different things there are in this book and different types of people and characters. So yeah, the world itself is just really impressive and just such a wonder to read about. It was so immersive and just honestly such a joy to read about. Now one thing that I did notice was how rushed some of the action sequences seem to be, um, especially there is a battle at the end and you don't really get to see anything that happens in it, you get told about some of the things that happen but it's very brief, it's kept very short and obviously as this is a children's novel they're probably not going to want to read like a huge battle scene and from reading Lord of the Rings to reading this it felt very different that was quite a sharp contrast between the two and i don't really like action but i did feel like it was lacking a little bit in that respect but then i'm an adult this wasn't really written for me so yeah compared to the lord of the rings i would say that this is a lot more accessible a lot easier to read the story flows really easily and it's just a lot more carefree and fun and definitely more whimsical as well with lots of humor one thing i really loved was the development of the main character bilbo baggins he starts off being very reclusive and very much happy with the way that his life is. And then as the story progresses, he's obviously forced into this adventure. You kind of see him bloom and flourish and his personality grows as well. And he just in general becomes such a wonderful character to read about. And on this adventure that they go on, there is so much happening. So while I said the action sequence towards the end of the battle was quite short, throughout the story, you are constantly on a different part of the adventure and there's always stuff happening. So it's actually quite an intense read, I suppose, but it just feels easy reading because of the way it's been written. So yeah, there is a lot going on in this tiny little book and I just loved it. I thought it was wonderful, so I rated it five stars. I think that it definitely deserves to be a classic and I'm so glad that I finally read it. Let me know down below if you've read The Hobbit and what you thought of it or if it's on your TBR. But that is it from me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.